Welcome back to CT Style. An estimated 10 million Americans have it, yet it's a little talked about condition. And CT Style reporter Megan Yost is here with more. Meg? Thank you, Ryan. A central tremor is a neurological condition that causes shaking of the hands, head, and voice. I recently met a woman who's living with the condition and helping others cope with their diagnosis. Four years ago, Helen Moser noticed her hands would start to shake at random moments. It's just an uncontrollable motion. Sensing something was wrong, Helen went to see neurologist Dr. Duarte Machado. After ordering a brain scan, the diagnosis was clear. Helen had essential tremor, the most common type of movement disorder. It's eight times more prevalent than Parkinson's disease, but people are not aware of it. Helen also learned from Dr. Machado of a tremor in her chin. My tremors are not typical. Most essential tremors are action or motion tremors. In other words, when somebody goes to pick up a drink, their hand will shake. My tremors are stationary tremors. They just occur at random. Although the cause of essential tremor is unknown, it's believed to be a genetic condition. Do the same with the other side. Today, Helen manages her tremors with medication. She also founded the first essential tremor support group in Connecticut. Our group is a place where we can offer support to each other, where we can share coping tips that we have. In the two and a half years since it was formed, the group has grown to 104 members from 47 towns across the state. Essential tremor is not life-threatening, but it is life-altering because people with essential tremor become disabled at worst or at best become frustrated or embarrassed sometimes. Helen's hope is to make others aware of the little talked about condition. Spreading awareness is so important because essential tremor affects people of all ages and also because so many people with essential tremor do not realize that it is a condition that can be treated. All right, joining me now here from Mid-State Medical Center is Helen's doctor, Dr. Dwyer Machado. Welcome here to CT Style. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. How, how was Helen's uh, a little bit different from most patients? Well, as she mentioned, she has stationary tremors, and, and that's seen in about 20% of the patients with the central tremor affecting the limbs. Uh, the vast majority of patients with the central tremor have action and postural tremor, so when they go out to reach for an object, or try to write, that's when they notice the tremor more often. And, and how about some of the solutions for uh, something like this? You, you brought some devices here, if you could walk us through what these are. Oh, sure. Yeah, so aside from medications, some other solutions include surgical options. One of them is gamma knife uh, therapy, another option is deep brain stimulation. This is whereby a battery device is inserted into the chest wall, electrodes are placed into the brain, and then we can modulate and treat tremors mm -hmm. electrically rather than chemically with medication. So using a handheld programmer, I can then attach this to the uh, battery in the patient's chest wall and then modulate the patient's wow. tremor. And, and this is an extremely effective and FDA approved indication for tremor. Wow. Patients then also have a handheld device that they can use at home. So instead of changing milligram dosages of medication, they can change amplitude of voltage on the device to help modulate the tremors further. Very interesting technology there. Also, there is a support group right here in Connecticut, as they were talking about, which you're actually involved in. That's right. Uh, along with, so Helen approached me a couple of years ago to start this support group, and there wasn't such a group in Connecticut, even though central tremor is the most common movement disorder. Mm -hmm. uh, so with her enthusiasm, we started this support group, and it's been incredible to see the growth of the group and the services that we provide to patients in Connecticut with the central tremor. The group meets every other uh, month, the first Tuesday of the month, and we've had a variety of speakers from occupational therapists to other mood disorder doctors in Connecticut, mm. and it's a great way to review the latest research in the field, but also to discuss what strategies work for certain patients to help control Versus their others. tremor. Yeah. That's well, right. Dr. Machado, thank you so much for joining us here today on CT Style. I think it's very important that you're spreading uh, what this is and so that people don't get it confused with a, a different diagnosis. <laughs> and uh, Mid-State is actually going to be hosting their next meeting in October. So now we're going to send things back over to Megan Yost, who has more information on that event. The Essential Tremor Support Group is meeting Saturday, October 1st from 1 to 3 p.m. at Mid-State Medical Center in Meriden. For more information about the free event, call 1-855-HHC-HERE or visit midstatemedical.org slash tremor support.